Okay, today guys we're going to be using the website ilike2learn.com. Notice the 2 is numerical. So if you're having trouble navigating here, that's usually the thing that uh, throws people off. Once you get there, there's a cursor bar up across the top, the home page, geography, you can go to select your continents, you can do it that way. I usually go to the site map and scroll down and it's basically the same menu you got before. We're going to stay in North America, and we're doing the United States states, and we also do the United States capitals. You get 50 points for the states, which works out great because there's 50 states, and then there's 50 capitals, so we'll get 100 points out of this. We'll actually, actually use this to test, so it's nice to practice on something where you're actually going to test out of. Once we hit that and see it pulls up the screen, a map of the United States with all the state capitals, uh, represented as dots. Notice there's two points. And our first uh, city it asks us for is Indianapolis. We got to pick Indiana. We pick it. It shades it in black. And then we hit submit. You notice the screen flashes green saying, hey, good job. You got it right. You got two points out of a possible two. And then we go to Hartford. And if we don't know it, where it's at, you can click. And we got right out of Connecticut. Um, let's do Baton Rouge. We're not sure where it's at. We pick Nebraska. We know that's not right. Screen flashed red. Notice our points drop to one up here, and we won't get as good a score in the end, which it will give you a percentage when you're all the way done. If you get something wrong, make sure you remember it because it will ask you the question again. Um, so I hit Louisiana, get it right. What happens if we, we do everything wrong twice so Springfield's not there and we pick again and get it wrong notice it drops to zero points then it'll flash to us telling us where Springfield is in Illinois so make sure you remember that because it will ask you that question again before it's all said and done we didn't get any points see how our score has dropped we missed two from that one one from the previous one but then it'll keep giving us cities until we go through all of the 50 states and capitals and it'll make us do the ones we missed again. Now this doesn't take anything away so once you get one you have to remember what uh, you already used it. Um, that's I like to learn dot com. Uh, very fun website for you guys to use as far as learning the states and capitals. We'll also use it in other uh, countries around the world when we study Europe and the Middle East. I like to use this site a lot. And like I said, we will test on it. So it is basically your test. You will be sitting at the computer clicking, and it gives me a score at the end. So it's very handy. And you can get to it at home. You can get to it here at school. Basically, anywhere you can get access to the internet. And that's it for the day. Have fun playing on.